One week, Tom Holland is excited for more Spider-Man movies. The next week, he's uncertain if he's ever going to show up in the MCU again. The week after that, he's pretty certain he's going to have a crossover somewhere here or there, but maybe not as Spider-Man, or maybe he'll oversee something, but he won't be Spider-Man, or maybe he will, but not the proper one, or something. This week, he's uncertain that he'll be back. Again. Look, I'm just going to say it and I'm going to keep saying it. I don't trust Tom Holland anymore when he says yes or no to something because he's now been trained. He's a PR machine. He knows how it's done. The only thing that I will believe if he says it is, hey, Uncharted's terrible. Don't see the film, people. I would believe that because it looks not good. Go play the video game. Anyways, yeah. um, Yeah, he kind of opened up the deadline in regards to everything Spider-Man and Deadline wanted to know. What exactly can we expect from the future? And he said, and he does say, the truthful answer is he does not know the answer. And he said a part of him feels like it's the perfect time to leave and not do it anymore. To just swing off into the sunset and he's done as Spider-Man. And that's it. Now, again, yeah, I could see that. They perfectly have a way to never use Spider-Man again. Hey, he's off on his own. He never has to show up. I mean, look, Daredevil hasn't shown up. And how long has he been in the MCU? Right? Come on. Like, you see what I'm saying, right? But it's Spider-Man. We know they're going to figure it out. We've heard more and more details about the lucrative paydays, the back-end deals and everything. It'd be insane. I honestly think that he does know what's going to happen. He has an idea. He's talked to them. But it's one of those things that it's a film at a time, a contract at a time, a franchise at a time. And the reason I insulted Uncharted, not just because it looks terrible, is because truthfully, I think he's hoping that Uncharted lands as well. Because that's another giant Sony IP, and if that makes money, he could bounce between those and then do other projects in between. And again, he'd be set. But a giant part of me, like more than 33 and 13% chances, definitely more than that, of me believes he will be back. And it's going to be one of those big announcements where they're not wanting to spoil anything because when they announce it, it's going to be the press release. Hey guys, check out Marvel.com, Sony, Disney, check out this PR release. We made a new deal. The Friendly Neighborhood or Tom Holland Spider-Man, whatever they're going to call him, swings back to the MCU for nine more things and... Here's this TV series he'll be a part of. Oh, and also extended cameos. Like, I just don't think they've worked that out yet. And the reason I say that is because if we just go right back to before Spider-Man No Way Home, there was a lot of uncertainty whether that film would even see a good box office return. Because the way they were talking about it, they're like, well, we got to wait and see how this film does. Because again, everything was uncertain. Now, there's massive profits on the table. Does Sony abandon that? No. Does Marvel Studios abandon that? Of course not. You'd have to be stupid. So, in due time, we'll find out that, yeah, he was uncertain, but he knew he was coming back. <laughs>